Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I explained how I make my logo design presentations in the logo and business card tutorial, however, many of you asked me to make a standalone video about it. So this is it, make sure to watch to the end of the video, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a nice watching. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to Squarespace for supporting my video. Whether you need a domain, website, or an online store, make it with Squarespace. This tutorial is meant to show you how to make the logo design presentation like the ones I do for my clients, however I will show you how to make the logo also. But it will be a generic logo design. So, make a vertical rectangle like this. Then hold Alt and drag it right. Hold Shift and rotate it for 90 degrees. Select the two rectangles, and go to the Align window, and then click on Horizontal Align Left, and then click on Vertical Align Top. Now, select everything, and rotate it by 45 degrees. Select the right rectangle and give it a different color, I'll use those that are already selected. OK, with the pen tool. Click here and drag a little, then click here and drag, and then close the path. Hold shift and select the new created shape with this rectangle, and then from the pathfinder, click on unite. With the direct selection tool, hold shift and select the top anchor point with the two bottom anchor points, and then drag the live widgets to make these corners rounded. Select the right part, then apply the gradient from here. Pick up the color code of this color or the one that you selected, and then select the right shape, and go to the gradient panel, double click on the color stop, and then double click on the gradient from the color panel, and paste the color code here. Click here to create a new color stop, and then drag it to left. Drag down the white color stop to take it off. Select the left stop. And decrease its opacity. Then adjust the color with the gradient tool. I think this looks okay. Now, I rotate this logo to the left by 90 degrees. I drag it left. And then I'll write the word generic. You know I like the font Gotham the most. I change the text color to gray. Hold Alt and drag it down, then I write the word, logo design. I give it the light weight. And then I decrease its size. and increase the tracking to 200, and then I align the two words together. With the eyedropper, give this text the green color. Decrease the icon size a little. Select the two words together, right click, then click on create outlines. Group the two words, and group the elements of the icon. Select everything, and from the align window, click on vertical align center.
Now, I try to make a vertical variation for the logo. Now, I will show you how I make the logo design presentation that I show to my clients. I will work on 1920 by 1080 document. Ok, I copied the logo and I paste it here. Then hold out and drag the icon to the right side and make it bigger. That's for the sake of showing the mark standalone. Try to balance everything in the document. Now stretch the artboard from the bottom to make it bigger. Now, I will make a unicolor version of the logo, so hold out and drag the icon. Right click and click on ungroup. Now hold out, and drag the right element a little bit up and place it just here. Hold shift and select the other shape, and then go to the pathfinder, and click on minus front. Select this shape, right click and click on ungroup, and take off this part. Give it the color gray and see how it look with a single color. I think it looks ok. Select the logo name, hold out and drag it down. Give it the grey color, and try to balance it with the icon. We will use this logo later. Ok, this is a random photo that I copied and I pressed Ctrl V to paste it here. You can choose any photo related to your project that you have the right to use it for sure. Align it with the document, hold shift and stretch it to fit the canvas. Now, cover it with a rectangle. Give it this color with the eyedropper, I'll copy the color code. Then I will give it this soft gradient. Then from the gradient panel, I'll change this color stop to green by pasting the color code. Select the other color stop, and decrease the opacity to 40%. Go to the transparency panel and change the color mode to multiply and then decrease the opacity a little. Now, bring the unicolor logo that we've made here. Right click, arrange, and bring it to front. Make it a little bit bigger and give it the color white. Make a thin horizontal rectangle along the canvas. Give it the green color, change the color mode to multiply, and decrease the opacity to 60%. Now I drag the logo and the icon a little bit down. Select this elements, and go to object, lock, and then click on selection. Make a rectangle below the image. And with the eyedropper give it this color. Hold out and drag the unicolor logo, and place it here. Make it a little bit smaller, and then right click, arrange, and bring it to front. And with the eyedropper, give it the color of this rectangle, and increase its opacity to 100. Try to optically balance it in the middle of the rectangle. 
and with the pen tool make a vertical line like this. I'll increase its size a little, and then I try to align it with the logo. With the text tool, click and drag to make a paragraph. This option is available in the new Illustrator versions. You can copy paste any text. I give the text the color of the logo, and I try to adjust it for a better look. This step is to showcase the logo next to some text. Always try to balance all the elements together. Now, make a rectangle similar to this one. And then drag it down here. And decrease its opacity. Stretch the artboard to make it bigger so we can add other elements. OK, this is a business card PSD mockup that I've used in many projects before. There is many free and paid mockups like this that you can get online. OK, go to layers. Double click on the business cards smart object layer. A new window will open. Double click on the business card layer. And then I'll take off the old placed element. Return to Illustrator, select the logo, and then go to Edit and click on Copy. Back to Photoshop, go to Edit, and click on Paste, and press OK. Now I place the logo above the information text, and left align it. Now I repeat the same process to bring the icon to Photoshop. And then I place it here and make it bigger. Drag the icon layer, and place it above the background layer, and press Ctrl Alt and G to make a clipping mask, I did that to make the right edges of the icon rounded like the background layer. Try to balance the icon and the text, and press Ctrl S to save. Back to this window, and you can see now how it look in perspective. Do this same process to change the other cards, and finally we'll get this result. Almost all the mockups that you will find online will look realistic. With the marquee tool, select the part that you want to copy and go to edit and click on copy merged. Back to illustrator, and press ctrl v to paste the copied image. Align it with the last rectangle, and resize it to fit the canvas. Hold alt and drag this rectangle down here. Right click. Arrange, and then bring it to front. Now you can see how our presentation look. You can make it longer and add other presentation elements. This is better than showing your clients simple standalone logo images, and you can make a big difference in your client opinion. You can export it in any format you want, but I prefer to send it as a PDF file. Go to File, Save As, name your file what you want. Choose your file format, and press on save. And click on save PDF. And this how our presentation file will look when opened in Google Chrome. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to get exposure and show your work to the world, you can quickly and easily start your own online portfolio website with Squarespace. You don't need any previous coding or web design experience, 
you will simply use one of their many great templates and customize it as you want. Visit the link in the description to get 10% off with your first order. Thank you for your attention, and stay tuned for more tutorials.